Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked and today we're going to be doing a review of a brand new beta product that a company just recently sent me out. Actually, it's not really a company, it's a one guy that actually came up with an idea for a new style of a Steadicam in a manner of speaking. So it doesn't even really have a name. Um, they do have a Kickstarter. There will be a link down below to check out their Kickstarter. So what I have named it is the Baby Fig Rig because it has a very, it looks very much like a Fig Rig. It works a lot like a Fig Rig, so it has that kind of same style when you're actually shooting it. And we're going to go over it here in a second, but I kind of want to give you guys a little bit of a background on it. So the guy that actually came up with the idea, his son, I guess, had a GoPro Hero 2. And it's really hard to, to take a GoPro, here's one right here, and use that to handheld, handheld the GoPro and, and shoot and get a nice steady shot. Or some of the steadier, some of the steady cams, or some of the systems out there for the GoPro, they're a little bit steep on price. So what he did is he came up with, he tried to come up with an idea of something that could, one, fit in a backpack, two, be very portable, three, be very lightweight, and four, work um, to be very fast on setting it up. So this is what he actually came up with. Again, I have kind of named it. It does not really have an official name yet, but I like to call it the Baby Fig Rig. Now, if you notice, it's got counterbalance weights all the way around it. It's got a really nice uh, one-fourth inch uh, tripod adapter or a mount on it. We're going to go we're going to go over this little little bit more in depth and with a closer shot here in a second. And what it really works good with is your GoPro series. I also believe that they are working on a a mount that would allow you to put your iPhone uh, 4, 4S, maybe even the 5. I don't know if they have a 5 mount out. Um, there's a lot of information on their Kickstarter that kind of explains it. Now, a lot of people think this kind of looks what's called a gimbal. Um, this does not work at all like a gimbal. As well, the biggest thing about this is, is that you're going hands-free with your camera. So with the GoPro, it's going to add some steadiness in your shots, but it's not going to perfect the steadiness in your shots. So you put your hands here, you're going to throw the GoPro here, and then you're able to get a nicer, steadier shot than if you were cupping it like this or using some of the other uh, steady cams, some of the other cheaper steady cam systems that are available. Now, B&H is supposed to be uh, carrying these here mid this summer. Um, they're supposed to go for $80. Now that is just for this and nothing else. Um, I have talked to them about some ideas of things I'd like to add. One thing is a lot of people that get GoPro don't actually have the adapter so they're able to connect the GoPro in so they can connect to that one fourth inch uh, connector. So uh, I've talked to them about maybe charging an extra $10 and being able to uh, offer the adapter for people that have GoPro cameras that want to be able to do it. As well, these are great for point and shoot cameras. Again, anything that can screw into the 1 4 inch tripod mount is what is going to fit. Um, so I'm really happy with it. I actually went out and did some field tests. I'm going to show you those here in a second. Uh, as far as walking is concerned, it did pretty well with stabilization, a jog. It was pretty shaky, and then a flat-out run, again, we're going to go over that, it was extremely shaky. But then again, when you're jogging and running, your whole body's moving, and it's going to be really, really hard for, uh, for an individual to keep it steady. So if you can perfect a good walk, you can keep it fairly steady. As well, this is going to work great for any skateboarders out there, uh, snowboarders. Of course, you're going to get some shake, but that's kind of expected with some of the more extreme sports. So this is going to be great because it gives you two different handles. You've got a handle up here, actually three. You've got a handle up here. You've got one on each side, and then you have a, a, another one right here on the bottom. And the nice thing about the GoPro is if you ever were to hold it like this, the GoPro has the option where you can flip the video upside down so it looks like it's right side up even though it's upside down. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy with the product so far. As well, you could mount things like your DSLR camera to it. And the way this mount works down here is just fantastic. Instead of making you do this whole, do, do this, and you've got to twist it on, um, they've actually gone to make it to where you can just, and you just screw it on there. Well, And there we go. So now you've got your DSLR, it's screwed on. And it actually feels really balanced and really nice with the DSLR. So this is going to work great with the DSLR, probably with a smaller lens, nothing over probably a 128 millimeter extension. Now it's going to be hard to shoot and focus at the same time. So this is going to work great for people that already have preset focuses, um, especially if you're shooting something and you've already preset your focus so you kind of know where your focus points are. This is going to work great for that. Um, and it's really easy, you just take it off. And there you go. So all in all, this thing is pretty fantastic. 
Um, I'm really happy with it. We'll do a close-up shot of this of this piece so you can actually see how it's built and works. It's really well built. And uh, again, this is a beta version, so the actual version will actually look a little bit nicer. So this is actually just the real basic version, and the, and the one that they actually put out will be a lot nicer. So this is going to be at a price point around $80 um, once it hits the market is the plan. Again, they have a Kickstarter, so if you want to go help them, um, it would really help them out. Just go down there. You can back them, and you can pre-order these kind of. I think you get one if you spent like $75, so you could get one a little bit cheaper if you actually go on and back them on the Kickstarter. So I um, had a list of things that I kind of wanted to go over, so I just want to make sure that I kind of went all over all of them here, um, and I did. So again, we'll just kind of go over price tags at eighty dollars. Um, this was a beta model, so the actual model is going to look a little bit different. It's going to feel a little bit nicer. It's going to be have a, a much more professional feel to it. Um, it. It has the the basic tripod mount here, and uh, you if you do have a GoPro, as of right now, you'll have to order yourself a GoPro uh, a tripod adapter mount. Um, Hopefully B&H will be carrying these by this summer, mid this summer. Um, they've already kind of worked out a deal, I guess, with B&H, so they are going to carry them. It's just when they're going to carry them, and again, this should be available mid this summer. Um, it's really lightweight, really easy to take around, and uh, again, it's not going to fix your stabilization problems, but it is definitely going to help your stabilization problems. So if you don't have anything that really stabilizes your camera, this is going to be a great thing to get at the price of $80. Now, things I would like to see that it comes with, again, would be the GoPro mount um, as well. I'd love it if they could add holes around here that would have the tripod 1 4 inch set up already in there. So if I wanted to connect a mic or I wanted to connect you know, a hot shoe with a light on it, something like that, again, it's going to throw the balancing off a little bit. So you are going to have to you know, really try to counterbalance that if you've got a light sitting over here and you're, you're going to be a little lopsided. So you want to be able to somehow make sure you can still try to get that steady shot. But all in all, I would give this a four out of a five. A um, couple adjustments, that's just my opinion of what, what they could fix. So uh, you guys have a great day. Check us out on uh, Facebook at David D. Images and Twitter at Media Unlocked as well. There will be a link down to their Kickstarter if you'd like to get a little more information on what I call the baby fig rig. You guys have a great one. I'll catch you next time.